Hi guys, I was tagged ages ago to do um, my perfect imperfections tag and so I'm finally going to get around to it. I didn't really even understand what it was because I hadn't seen any before. So I've just watched a couple for inspiration and I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So I've not prepared anything, I've not done anything, so it might be terrible. Okay, so three things from what I understand, three things that I dislike about myself and three things that I like about myself. Um... Okay, I'll start with the three things that I dislike about myself. Other than gaining weight around my middle, this was a tough one. It, it's kind of, I didn't really think straight away, oh, I know the three things that I hate about myself. There are things that I've only started to notice since I've been making YouTube videos because obviously I see myself on screen and I think, oh, I hate this or I hate that or I take a picture. I try and do a picture for like a blog or whatever and I think, well, it just doesn't look right and it's because of whatever. And I hadn't really thought about it before and there was nothing that I kind of went, oh, I hate this. Um, so it was tough. But number one, um, I hate the weight that I carry around my middle. I feel like I've always kind of had it. I feel like I've always kind of stuck to my stomach in, um, even when the rest of me is really slim there's always this kind of extra, so I can't even blame it on Ella and having had a baby, I can't blame it on that because I kind of feel like I always had that, although before I could suck my stomach in and it was better. Um, that That is my big bugbear. I, don't, I wouldn't mind putting weight on anywhere else, but I hate that I feel like I have to cover myself up when I'm sitting down. I like to like, sit with a pillow over me or that's, I'm really, really self-conscious about that. Um, next, these things are going to be seem really, really strange to you, but these are things that I do notice all the time. I feel like my eyes are too small. I never had this problem before. I felt I really liked my eyes. And I started making YouTube videos and seeing more pictures of myself and seeing myself on screen more often. And I feel like they go puffy, uh, especially in the morning. They are just ridiculous, but they go puffy. And I feel like the space here is too much. This sounds ridiculous. I know how ridiculous this sounds. But I feel like the space between my eye and my mouth there is too much, which kind of makes me feel like my eyes are too small or my eyes are too high up or something. And this, you see there, it looks really puffy. I don't know. I think I can probably do four, but I don't like. I'll do four. See, so yeah, the puffy eyes and the the weirdness with my eyes. It's just here. And the, I just I hate it. My nose. I used to love my nose. I used to think it was brilliant. I used to think it was the best thing about me. Totally loved my nose. It was like a little button nose. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's all of a sudden my eyes have got smaller and my nose looks bigger or what. But I just really dislike my nose. I, I don't know at what point I decided that I hated my nose. I remember being at school and thinking, I like my nose. And then one day I discovered that I don't really have a dent in the bridge of my nose. You know, like normally you would, it would go in and then it would go out. I'll show you. I don't know if, what you can see. But I've got no proper dent there. I hate my profile. I hate my profile. And I really hate that. So when I'm trying to take pictures for blogs, especially like, or like pictures after I've done a tutorial, I'm like, oh yeah, look at this. I just I really struggle to find a good angle because if I go there, you can see the little puffiness and I've got a little bump in my nose. But if I go full on to the side or too much to the side, I haven't got the dent that everyone's got. Oh! This has actually brought out a whole load of stuff that I didn't think even mad. But yeah. So anyway. Lastly. I think lastly. Um, blemishes. I think that I'm going to be one of those people that when I'm 45, I'm still going to have outbreaks. Which is really frustrating because... I mean, when I was a kid, I did take some pills for it. It wasn't really that bad when I was a teenager. But now, I find, I don't know if it's some stress or it's like time of the month, what it is that, that causes it, but I get really bad, especially around my chin. At the moment, I've got them like the, 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 the. I get them in the randomest places. I don't get them quite so bad as I did when I was a teenager. Like, I don't get like one massive one in the middle of my head. They're normally around my chin and my mouth, and I hate that, especially now. Um, 
working with people and like they see me all the time and I'm supposed to be selling this makeup that if it doesn't look good on me how am I supposed to tell you it's going to look good it's it's just if I can't say well yeah this is great for covering imperfections if it's not covering my imperfections then it's terrible I really hate it and I feel really self-conscious about it so that's probably my my last one it's it's always been something that I've thought if I could fix one thing if I could just have one thing one thing that would make everything better it would be completely perfect skin and that would be like perfect skin tone perfect you know no breakouts nothing absolutely perfect skin and I think everyone would look better with perfect skin that's the one thing that you can say oh you want smaller nose you want smaller this you want smaller that but then all of a sudden you could flare up and have this crazy rash on your face and then it wouldn't matter what your nose looked like you'd still look crazy if you've got perfect skin I think you can work around the other imperfections. That would be my absolute goal, my dream. I've thought of one other thing. I'm going kind of crazy, I know. I'm not supposed to be going through all of these different things, but I've got really yellow teeth. Look. And the bottom ones are really crooked. Yeah. My bottom teeth have never really bothered me that much until I started making YouTube videos again, because then you're looking at yourself so much more. Right now I can see myself talking and I'm thinking, ah, oh, I hate those crooked teeth. I've got really crooked bottom teeth. My top ones aren't that bad. Mm. You see, yeah. but they're discoloured and yellow, and ugh, I hate my teeth. Again, never used to hate my teeth. YouTube brings out these things, which I think is why this tag is so good because YouTube makes you feel like certain things are imperfect. Anyway, in the interest of keeping this video relatively short, um, I will get onto the things that I like because I know that there are fewer of those. I like that my hair is tough enough to take all the different things that I do to it because I like to change things up. I like to, you know, go from dark to blonde and this is probably why I've been playing with my hair so much because I only just dyed it. I, you know, that it doesn't break off and it's dry but it's not so dry that I'm scared of dyeing it. I like that it's quite resilient. Um, I like that I do kind of suit a lot of different coloured hair. I have been like platinum blonde, red, really, really dark, all these different colours. And yeah, some are better than others, but I don't feel like someone looks at me and goes, oh, that's a really, really crazy colour. You can't do that. I like that I kind of, I'm a bit of a chameleon like that, in that I can, I can kind of transform myself and it doesn't look too crazy. Because I do like to change things a lot. Um, what else do I like? These are the things I should have written down. <laughs> what else do I like? Well. I don't know. Much as I hate my eyes for the puffiness, I, I like my eyes. I like the shape of my eyes and I like that they're easy to put makeup on. I've done makeup on other people. And it's not so easy. I like that I've got <laughs> what I consider to be normal eyes, because they're my eyes. I like that I've got eyes that are easy to accentuate and easy to make up, rather than people that have got smaller lids or just, you know, less space between your eyebrow and your eyelid. That I like about myself. Um, I've got quite full lips. I like that. Um and relatively good bone structure. <laughs> and that's about all I can think of. Um, you could you could really, this, this tag is like terrible for that, in that you can, you could just sit and talk about all the things that you hate and start to think about things that you don't even normally think about and go like, oh god, and I really hate this as well. And I really hate this, and I really hate this. Whereas the stuff that you do like, it's really difficult to sit down and think, yeah, I really like about more myself. There's, there's nothing that I think, I'm really glad I've got this. Maybe I should do a separate one, all to do with the things that you do like, because you've really got to sit down and think about that. Anyway, I tag you all, put your video responses below, and um, thanks for watching.